Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. Um, in this video we're going to look at a topic that I found very confusing when I first started working with Power Automate Desktop and that is the question on how to extract text via OCR. We're going to look at all the different possibilities and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel to see when I publish a new video. I hope you enjoy learning and happy automation. The activity that we're going to need today is called um, extract text with OCR. And if you drag it to your flow or you open it, you're going to see that there are several parameters that we need to give. Um, the first parameter defines the OCR engine type, which is basically the OCR software that Power Automate Desktop is going to use in the background in order to extract the text from our source. So we can either use Windows OCR engine or Tesseract engine here. For the example, I'm just going to leave it with Windows OCR engine. But this is basically also um, a question of preference. For OCR source, um, we define the source that our text should be extracted from. So we can either extract text from our entire screen, from a foreground window or from an image on disk. And for the first example, I'm going to use image on disk. But as I know that there are already several examples and videos on that, um, I'm going to use the screen for the second and third example. If we select image on disk, um, we also need to give a file path. Um, I'm going to give the file path to this example. Um, and basically, this is the text that we want to extract with the activity. And then for the last parameter, we need to define our search mode. Um, I'm going to explain the second and third variant in two other examples, but for now, I'm going to leave it with whole of specified source, meaning that we want to extract whatever text can be found on our image or other source file. And as you can see, um, Power Automate Desktop is going to extract the text and store it in a variable called OCR text. Um, yeah, and we're going to save it. And then for testing purposes, I'm also going to add a display message action, give it a title, and then use our produced variable here so that we can see whether the extracted text was right. So when I run this, you can see, um, yeah, that Power Automate Desktop basically opened the image and extracted the text just as we wanted. And that's basically it for the first example. So for the second and third search mode, as it's a bit more complicated, I've also prepared um, quick videos before showing you the practical examples. Now, when you are trying to extract text from a defined subregion only, then it's important to understand what Power Automate Desktop is doing in the background first in order to be able to yeah, give the correct parameters. So in our example, we want to extract the um, green highlighted text, which is on the basically um, bottom right corner of our screen, which is our defined um, OCR source here. What Power Automate Desktop is going to do in the background is that it applies a coordinate system with the point zero on the top left corner of our source, meaning that the top left corner is the zero point for our X and also Y axis. <clears throat> so if we want to extract the text um, that is highlighted green here, we now need to give the Y1, Y2, X1 and X2 value, which basically defines the sub region. So what we need to do for that is basically measure the position on screen in terms of um, pixel distance to the point um, y0 and x0. You can use a tool for that and I'm going to show that in the practical example. But for now, let's just assume that um, y1 is 500 pixels from y0, y2 is 1000 pixels from y0, x1 is um, 1000 pixels from x0 and x2 is 1900 pixels from x0. So if we have 
measured the pixel distance here then we also already have our um, four points and we can use them in our activity as the x1 x2 y1 and y2 value and that is how you extract text from a specified subregion only um, for this example we are just going to use an amazon product page as our source and for the example we're going to assume that there are no valid selectors that we can use in order to extract the text from the ui element and that our text is always in the same subregion on the page so we want to extract the title of the product meaning the title of the book here via ocr um, in power automate desktop we are going to use the same activity extract text with OCR leave the OCR engine as Windows OCR engine and for the OCR source I'm going to select foreground window here I've already focused um, our window in another activity but you could also use image or screen here and for the search mode we're going to use a specific subregion only and as we already know, we are, need to give the x, y, x1, sorry, x2, y1, and y2 values. And in order to find them, I'm using a free tool called Mouse Position. And what it does is that it gives you the x and y coordinates for your mouse. So we can use this in order to measure. Um, and if we do that here, we could use... Um, let's say 485 and 1320 485 and 1320 for our X values and for the Y values again if we use our free tool we could for example use 355 and 555 if we want our author as well so it's 355 and 555 save and we again want to display our extracted text in a message box and so give it title and message to display we're going to select our variable and if we run this now we see that um, it first focuses our our um, product page and then we can see that it extracted the text learn Microsoft Power Apps build customized business applications including our author and it did not for example extract all the text up here all the text on the right or all the text below our specified subregion and that is how you extract text from a specified subregion now in our third example we want to um, extract text from a specified subregion as well but this time we do not want to give the absolute coordinates of our subregion but we want to um, yeah extract text relative to a defined image so in this example we again want to extract the highlighted text which is the green highlights and this time we are going to use the red highlighted image as an anchor. So wherever this image and some text on the right appears on our screen or on our source, we always want to extract the text which is on the right hand side of the image. So what's going to happen here is that Power Automate Desktop is once again going to apply a coordinate system, but this time the zero point is not on our top left corner of our source, but on the top left corner of our defined anchor image. So here it's the top left corner of the red highlighted image. And then we can basically apply what we have learned before. So in order to specify the region, um, we once again need to measure the distance in pixels um, of our Y1, Y2, x1 and x2 value and so in the example um, x1 is 200 pixels from the top left corner of our image 
x2 is 600 pixels from the top left corner of our image y1 is basically on the same height as our y0 so it's zero pixels and y2 is 100 pixels from our y0 point and if we apply that to our region we once again have the values that we need to give um, the activity as you can see here we've selected our image as a reference here and then we have given the values 200 600 0 and 100 for x1 x2 y1 and y2 and that is how you extract um, text relative to an image for the last example i have opened a website called computer database which is a dummy website and we are going to try to extract the computer name using ocr um, and i think this is a very um, realistic example because often in reality we are dealing with legacy systems or Citric applications that do not offer um, reliable selectors in order to extract the text based on our text field for example but we can also not just give the absolute subregion on the screen because let's assume this entry could have additional information then the computer name could for example be on the um, yeah could be the second line here or the third line here and then the screen position changes so it would basically always just extract the value of the first field here which doesn't necessarily have to be the computer name but what we can do here is we're going to use a label so this label computer name as our um, reference image and then just try to extract the text on the right hand side of our reference image So what we are doing with Power Automate Desktop is we're going to select the activity. OCR engine type stays the same. OCR source in this case is the screen. But if we are using the screen as our OCR source, we need to make sure that um, the source, so in this case, the website is visible on the screen when we are running the flow. And as search mode, we are going to select sub region relative to image. Um, and then we're going to capture the image of our text label. I'm going to start here and you will see why in a minute, but we need to select the entire text label and we're going to call it text label two because there's an existing image from another example. So we can see now that this is our reference image and now we need to again give the X and Y values, but this time it will be a bit more complicated because we are giving the region relative to our reference. So what we are doing here is we are once again going to use the mouse position tool. And then I'm going to start with the Y values now. We need to give the Y1 value, which is basically the top of our region and the Y2 value, which is the bottom of our subregion. And the Y1 value is zero in this case, although the absolute coordinate would be 313 because um, our coordinate system doesn't have its zero point on the top left corner of our screen, but on the top left corner of our reference image. And as our reference image and the subregion are on the same height, we can use zero here for our Y1 coordinates. So we're going to use zero. And for Y2, we have a absolute coordinate of 338 but we need to deduct the 315 so it's basically something like 24 or 25 which means that our subregion is actually 25 pixels in height so we're going to use 25 here and then for the x values let's say 260 but our coordinate system starts here, so we need to deduct 90. That means we have an x1 value of 260 and 90, 170. And our x2 value would be about 580. Again, let's deduct 90 because our coordinate system starts here and then we have 
490. Save and when we're trying to run it, Power Automate Desktop is going to find our reference image, which is the label, and then extract the text in the relative subregion. So when we check the results, it's the correct computer name. And we can try this with another computer. So let's try. And once again, um, Power Automate Desktop is extracting the correct text. And it is basically um, how you extract text relative to an image based on my understanding. And I know it's a bit complicated, but you need to get used to it.